Hey guys, welcome back. Um, wanted to talk to you guys today about something that I recently got in the mail from Power Probe. Uh, they sent this thing to me to check and uh, try out, and uh, it was really cool of them. And uh, we're gonna get started here and take a look at what we got. Um, it's a breakout box for the OBD2 connector. Now, I already have one. Uh, this one here I picked up just to have something while I was waiting to pick up a better one. Okay, I, want, I figured something's better than nothing. And I have used it and it does work, all right? It gives you a display of voltage, this and that. Uh, you have all of your pins here hooked up with a uh, banana jack uh, setup, okay? So you can take your, you can take your scope leads and if you want to, you can just simply plug in to whatever pins that you need to, to check, okay? Now, as I said, this thing does work, but it's extremely cheap. I don't trust it 100%. I don't trust cheap tools. Um, for the price, I figured I'd try it out, okay? But my plan was I was trying to decide which, which uh, name brand that I wanted to go with. And obviously, there's a lot of them out there. There's, uh, you know, off the top of my head, OTC, AES Wave, I think makes one Pico. I saw this, and... I, it really, it actually just piqued my interest because it has some pretty nifty features on it. First of all, show you a view of the tool. Let me try to turn it the right way, right side up. Now, if you notice, I'm just using this one as comparison, but if you notice, this does not have banana jacks, okay? This has, this has small terminals, which is able to keep the size of the tool, I guess, down uh, you know, a lot more, right? And you can see here, everything is nice and labeled. It has LEDs on each, uh, on each one of these uh, breakout pins. The other thing that it comes with is these. These are, these are magnetic actually, and they have cutouts on them. As you can see, they have notches so that you can just pop them together. Uh, depending, I guess, what you wanted to do here. I, I have not messed with these, but these are designed, uh, the size of these tools are actually designed to fit inside here. Now you can simply probe this way, all right? You can just stick it in here and it's, it's gonna make contact. Or if you want, you can actually push it in and the terminal will, I mean, it's, it fits nice and tight. It's actually, a, you know, pin retention in there. So that's the basics of the tool. Okay, it comes with two of these magnetic style uh, pin probes. I do not know where you can buy these. I had asked Power Probe when I was speaking on the phone with them uh, about these probes, and they said they get questions all the time. They do not manufacture these. So these are not available separately to my knowledge. However, there is one catch here that may be the key. If you take a look here, Power Probe Europe. This is this is not made here. This was made for Power Probe, I guess uh, you know in Europe. So it's not made here. Now I'm going to plug this in to the OBD2 connector on this Fiat. Try to set you guys up here. So. All right, we'll just go over some of the features. I'm not diagnosing this car. My partner beat me to that already. He fixed it yesterday, so uh, there's nothing to diagnose. I don't know, I'm looking through the screen here and I don't know why it looks like the, the, uh, the display is uh, erratic. It's not, okay? That is something with the camera and I don't know if that's gonna come through on the video like that or not, but this is completely stable. It's a, a great image. There's no, uh, there's no distortion, but for some reason the camera is showing that there is. I don't know why. Anyway, as you can see here, we have our LEDs to display what, you know, green, red, uh, the orange warning LED here. Um, these are all in the instructions, by the way, guys. Okay, so we have to, we have to look through here on the instructions on what exactly 
is going on. I'm going to actually plug in my Autel scanner here as well. And as you can see, I am powering up, okay, so it's working through the, through the box here. Let me zoom out a little bit. Um, one of the features on this thing, which is really cool, is the display, all right? It gives you the voltage, but it also gives you the pin. So if you look here, you can, you can press pin one, and it'll tell you if there's voltage on it, pin two, pin three, and I can go so on and so forth. Okay, so another thing here, besides, besides being able to go through these pins, okay, this will also give you low voltage or high voltage warnings. Now if I reset, I have to press reset, I forgot that, to get back to pin 16. Okay, so I press reset and it will give me back to, to this pin. Now, if you notice, I have, no, I have no key on in this vehicle. I'm gonna turn the key on. Oh my God, I'm gonna shut that off. What is that? Oh, sorry. Oof. Anyway, all right, now we have all kinds of craziness going on. All right, so let's now go through our pins again. Pin one, 3.9 volts. Pin six, 3.6 volts. Pin nine, five volts. We'll go through to 14, yep, I missed it. 15, six, uh, let's go back. 2.6, all right, and reset, I'll go back to my, uh, my pin 16. I'm gonna start this thing. And as you can see, we're up 14 volts. Now I can probe, uh, I don't have, well, you know what? I do have this, I could use my meter. I don't have my scope here. I'll just use the meter. And I'm going to use the, the pins that they gave us with my meter. And I'm going to go into my chassis ground. And then I'm going to go... I'll go into... Um, I can low which is pin 14. I'll check it here and see what I got. 2.6 volts. My meter's showing 2.25. So it's averaging, all right. Um, go to pin 16. As you can see, 14 volts. And as I said, you do not have to lock these terminals in. All you gotta do is lay them into the pin. Just make contact, obviously. Um, if you're worried about it moving, you can put them in, stabilize them, and they'll hold just fine as you saw before. This tool is really, really fantastic in my opinion. Um, I did not measure, um, I'll see if I have a moment to do that, and I will check some of the other back probes that I have to see if they fit, but getting probes that'll work on this I do not see as a problem, okay? Uh, some of the Euro guys probably already have these and if you're out there and you're watching this, give us a source to uh, purchase more of them. They're really nice. Now, there's not a whole lot here that I can do right now with this ex except for what I've shown you. Uh, the tool itself, I really like a lot. I like the footprint. Uh, it's, a small, it's a small footprint for one of these tools from what I've, from, at least from what I've seen. Uh, the, the setup on it is really nice. It's very, very clear, the display. The instructions are very clear <clears throat> about how it works, what to, you know, uh, what you'd have to be looking for here. Um, it will, it'll also give you audible. I don't know if I mentioned that. It'll give you slow beeps, 
for anything below 11.8 volts on a, on a 12 volt system. This will also work on a 24 volt system, guys. Uh, 23.6 volts, it'll give you a low voltage warning and it'll give you fast beeps above 15 and a half volts or 31 volts. So it gives you a low or high voltage warning. Okay, they give you each set of pins here and what color LEDs you can look, what you would be looking for and what it means, okay? So if you read through this, uh, red color means constant voltage present on these pins, blue color normal protocol communication pulse signal, all right? Uh, depending on the communication protocol, that is going to make a difference on the, uh, which LEDs are going to blink, obviously. So once you become familiarized with the, with the instruction manual, <clears throat> The tool will be very, very much self-explanatory as long as you have the uh, corresponding diagram, you know, for your particular year, make, and model vehicle. Now, again, uh, this thing, the display on this thing is fantastic. It's very, 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 very clear and easy to see. Uh, Power Probe uh, has made a beautiful, beautiful breakout box for the OBD2 connector. Um, I have not seen a lot of guys using this, and I don't know if that's simply because it's not marketed or pushed or anything. I'm not really sure. Um, and I do not know, for you guys that are gonna ask me, I do not know what the retail price is on this, uh, on this item. I do know that you don't see them, uh, you don't see them often. I checked a couple of places before I called Power Probe directly, and I was looking to buy it and uh, they were out of stock everywhere that I tried, so I'm not 100% sure. My advice is if you are interested in buying this tool, call Power Probe Direct and have, uh, have a talk with them guys over there. They're very, very nice guys to deal with and um, see, what, uh, see if they have any more in stock and uh, any questions you can, I will refer you to them guys because I cannot answer a whole lot about this tool the only thing I can say is that I have not had the opportunity to use it in diagnostic testing yet, unfortunately. But this thing is, this thing has some awesome little, uh, it just has some really, really nice characteristics. I love the, the fact that you can change what pin you're looking for right on the display and you can get an idea of, you know, right where you're at, right off the jump. So that, that's really, really nice. If you guys remember, I did a car a while back that had a uh, class two data line, I believe, that was stuck at seven volts. So if I would have had this tool instead and I would have gone to the corresponding pin for the class two data, I would have saw that it was at seven volts, okay? Um, just very, very, very useful uh, tool to have, in my opinion. And I like the fact that it has the pin retention system in here instead of having banana jacks because you do not, uh, you do not have as much bulk, all right? Now, some of you guys are not gonna like this. Some of you guys are going to like the banana jacks because that's what you prefer, and that's fine. I'm not telling you you have to go and, you know, and uh, buy something you don't like. I'm just saying, for me personally, I wasn't sure about this at first. I really like it. Um, the, the probes that it comes with just fit so, so incredibly well. And I really hope some of you guys out there do know a source to buy more of these because I definitely want to buy some more. Um, I don't know what else to really say about the tool. It's really nice. I like it. Uh, they sent it to me to try it out and get my opinion. And I, I mean, you know me guys, I'm not gonna lie about it. If I didn't like it, I just wouldn't have done a video on it. Um, I like this thing. Uh, I did not, like I said, I didn't get a chance to use it for diagnostic testing. I only played around with it just like I did here on camera to show, you know, to show you guys. I did the same thing when I got it to try it out and see how it functions and how it looks. And it's, it's a fantastic tool. And, um, you know, I personally think, for me at least, that, uh, I think for me at least that um, it's, you know, the only one I'm gonna need. Uh, the power probe is definitely the way I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay for now. Uh, I don't see any need for any other one. So I hope you guys like the video. Uh, when I have a chance to use this thing in a diagnostic test environment, I will use it. I will do a video on it. Uh, right now, I do not have anything that needs that. This, had, this Fiat behind me here had a, um, uh, an SRS light that was on. 
and uh, it had some some lighting issues, which is nothing new on these cars. They melt everything, so that was that. Uh, we fixed the SRS problem, which was a broken uh, broken pigtail under the seat. Fixed the lighting issues, and uh, that's really it. So. All right, guys, I appreciate it again. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more. Have a good one.